Hey there, my name is Ali. Welcome to the beginner Photoshop tutorials. Today we're gonna discuss the letter J, which is the spot healing brush, the healing brush, the patch tool, and the content aware tool. Let's start with the first one, spot healing brush tool. Now this work, it works like a brush. You can press right click. You can increase its size or reduce it. Make sure the hundreds you leave it, the hardness, you leave it 25 and the spacing 25 for now. Just Make it the size you want. If you're done, just press click up. Now, I want to get rid of this thing in the wood. So I'll just paint around it like that. And I'm just going to leave. So it does all the work. What how this works, it reads what's happening around of it. And it tries to fix it. So I'm going to press Ctrl and Z. Zoom in. See, it will read what's happening around it. And it will try to fix it. Because I went up a lot. It started reading from this area, which is black, so it caused a mistake. So we have to make sure we're accurate as much as possible and leave so it's better. Okay, so let's try this one also. This one will face a problem because the black is too close, so it's reading from around. So here comes the play, the role of the healing brush tool and not the spot. The healing brush tool is works by sampling from an area. So first you hold Alt. The mouse will change to that thing. Let's say we don't want it to read from all what's around it. We only want it to read from this area. So I'm going to press Alt and click from here. And then I'm just going to paint around it. Now it read from here. Okay, I'll press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Alt Z to bring them back. This is the difference between these two. Let's go to the patch tool. The patch tool, how it works. It works like, like the ones before, but it's in a, in a little bit different way. Let's say I want to have this thing at, at like right of it, another one of it. So I will just draw around of it and I'll move it like that. Now it's gone and fixed. Okay, let's say I want this area to have that one. So after making the selection, I'll just drag from here to there so now i have this one look how it looks like and when i leave click i will leave now you see the colors change to it reads the environment and tries to match it better so now we have a copy of it we can use it this way or the other way which is like sampling it first and sorry sampling it and then pulling it to the left and leaving so we can work use this to remove or to add objects the last one is the content aware move tool. It does almost the same. You can select this one, let's say, and we can move it here. And we press the tick button, control D. It did the same, but in a different mathematical ratios for Photoshop. We can use this one and just pull it over here. And when I press tick, it will try to make it match with the environment. Okay, let's put that into another Example, let's try the first one, which is the spot healing brush tool. Let's do this here. You see, we got rid of the first pimple. Okay, let's try this one actually. You see now we had a mistake, we had a problem because what's around it is very different. So the Photoshop couldn't read. So this comes the role of the healing brush tool where we can sample. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Well, how I make smaller and larger, I just hold Alt, press right click, go to the right and the left. This will make smaller and larger. If you're using a Mac, it's Command and Option, then right click and go right and left. Okay, so now I'm gonna sample, I'm gonna hold Alt until the cursor change. Then I'm gonna sample from here and then I'm just gonna fix it like that. So this is way better. Let's go back to the spot healing brush, try to fix this one. Okay. Let's try to fix this one using another method, the patch tool. We said how the patch tool works is we make a selection and then, oh no, sorry, the opposite. You make the selection and then you move it like that. Okay, not the best effect. I can still see something. So the spot healing, I guess, should have been better here. Just, oh, that's bad. Okay, that's better. And we can fix that also. Let's try the content aware. The content aware works like by, let's read this area. And let's move it here. 
and let's tell him okay okay he did a very bad job here actually let's try for this one I guess the healing brush tool will work best where we can sample from here and we can start cloning we can sample from here and start cloning okay I guess this one is the best actually the healing brush tool because you have like you can sample let's try to fix this area I will sample hold alt sample then paint here until it's fixed okay I guess this is the best one actually because you choose from where you sample make sure when you're choosing a place to sample make sure you're not like sampling from here if I sample from here look like complete chaos make sure you're sampling from a place not different color not brighter not darker I will not like very textured or very soft make sure it's like almost the same so that's it for today's tutorial for the next tutorial it's gonna be a very long and very important one we will discuss the brush the clone stamp the eraser the dodge and burn the sharpen blur objects okay thank you guys